With tensions on the Korean Peninsula building, South Korea on Monday hosted a conference of military leaders from across Asia Pacific. Giving the keynote address was a former South Korean minister who's also headed the United Nations. I'd like to remind North Korea that no single nation has survived its fate against unanimously united international community in the course of world history. In the south, rising tensions are having an economic impact. At Imjingak, an hour from Seoul, it's easy to see into the demilitarized zone, the DMZ, and beyond that, the mountains of North Korea. The lookout has long been a tourist site. People can even take a train from here to just inside the DMZ. And despite the tensions, some visitors are still coming. For me, my tickets were booked way in advance, so I had to make it. And uh, we kept checking the news just to make sure that everything's kind of okay. My sister was really worried, so my sister's actually getting married next week. And she was really worried that something was going to happen to me and I wouldn't be able to make it back. So it was a bit, she was quite, she didn't really want me to come. The US has like such a large military presence here and so many civilians that kind of trusted the foreign department to like take care of the US citizens and let us know if something was about to go down. But visitor numbers to South Korea overall are down. 40% fewer came in July compared with the same month a year ago. On Sunday, most rides at the fun fair, which strangely is part of the Imjin Gak site, were near empty. The latest heightened tension is only weeks old, and really, it's too early yet to judge the impact of that on tourism here. So far, the missing tourists are explained more by politics than fear. Chinese tourists are the ones almost entirely absent. In March, China, angered by South Korea's deployment of the THAAD anti-missile system, banned its citizens from taking package tours to South Korea. Last year, about half of the 17 million tourists to South Korea were from China. But this year, Chinese tourists are down by 70%. That's being felt here. It's hurting my business. Sales are roughly a third down. In the longer term, there's concern about next year's Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang. Ticket sales so far are poor. The International Olympic Committee said last week there is no plan B to move the games if tensions escalate, but they can't make spectators come. South Korea's defense ministry on Monday said it believed the North was ready for a new nuclear test. If it comes, that will only heighten the tension and dissuade more tourists from visiting South Korea. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Paju, near South Korea's border with the North.